this. It is a letter to Brazil. Here it is. And it is now the opening letter of the book only in the Brazilian Portuguese edition. Okay, just so you know. Dear Brazil, of my many trips to South America, I've never had the occasion to visit you, but I've nonetheless thought about you quite often. As a native of the United States of America, I know what we casually think about you. In no particular order, you've got the world's largest and most important rainforest. You've got the world's most massive river. Every minute, draining into the Atlantic Ocean, a volume of water that would fill a football stadium. And yes, we knew about your river and rainforest long before Amazon.com borrowed the name. And even those among us who barely follow soccer know of your famous football teams, fully expecting to see you in the final rounds of the World Cup every four years. You know what we don't notice? Half the time, we fly a regional jet between cities on American Airlines and other carriers. We board an Embraer to do so. But hardly any of us knows that the airplane is designed and built in Brazil. But wait, one of the greatest pioneers in early aviation was Brazilian, a brilliant and inventive engineer who was highly decorated in his time. Alberto Santos Dumont guided the world's transition from lighter than air to heavier than air transportation. The value of such cultural seeds planted at the birth of an industry may be incalculable. A century later, you have become a leader in biofuel technologies, a key step towards a green economy where our harmony with nature will determine whether we thrive survive, or go extinct. You also have an ambitious space agency, and you're the sixth largest aerospace industry in the world. In Latin America, you're also a leader in IT. And in a country famous for its agriculture, nearly a third of your economy rides on the back of tech-infused manufacturing. So maybe it's time the world knew more about this. Maybe it's time Brazilians knew more about this. Maybe you're overdue for displaying products that declare engineered in Brazil. You have the resources and the legacy to lead all of Latin America, if not the world, in what a country of tomorrow should be, in what a country of tomorrow should aspire to. Respectfully submitted, Neil deGrasse Tyson, the United States of America. Thank you so much, Neil. Uh, I'll keep following you, reading your books and listening to your podcasts and everything. Thank you okay, very much for all you've been. Take care. Bye. E agora você fica com o apaixonante filme Shakespeare Apaixonado. Divirta-se. Até a próxima.